I'm Magno TV. Once again, I'm back. All right, so Tiafimo and Tiafimo Lopez and Pedraza. Obviously, it's not going to happen. Pedraza pulled out because of COVID symptoms. Okay, look. For everybody saying that Sanders Mar Sander Martin Martin or however you want to say his name, Sander Martin is a tougher opponent. Y'all are tripping. Pedraza would be the tougher opponent. <clears throat> but this is all happening for a reason because this is the easier fight for TFMO. He's been training for Pedraza, who's a switch hitter. He can fight Southpaw or Orthodox. And TFMO will be, has been training for that. So now he's fighting Sander Martin, who's a less aggressive, counter-punching Southpaw, who beat Mikey Garcia, who I kind of thought Mikey Garcia did a lot better than people think, and I even thought Mike Garcia could have easily won that fight, but that's neither here nor there. Tiafimo is going to fight Sander Mar Martin on December 10th, right? And Tiafimo is going to wash this boy. Tiafimo will beat him. It won't be a problem. He's going to finish him. He's going to knock him out. It'll probably be a body shot. It'll probably go to the body, the head. Tiafimo is a beast. Nobody's beaten TFMO. The only one who has a chance is Regis Progre. And even then, Regis Progre just said, you know, he had a little trouble. Even though he made it look easy, he had a little trouble with Zapata's power and speed. If he had a little trouble with Zapata's power and speed, can you imagine TFMO's power, speed, not alone his athleticism? TFMO is a beast, he is a wolf. He is a he would be an alpha wolf male if he was a wolf. Okay. Like myself. Like, you know, like like there's just different levels. There there's warriors, then there's fighters, you know. And Tiafimo has shown his warrior ability and he's just super athletic. He's super gifted. He's one of a kind. There's been a lot of Sander Martins or Martins out there, boxers like him. And he will definitely be a stepping stone for Tiafimo Lopez. And that is it. I may do a prediction, but I might as well do a prediction now. I'm saying Tiafimo will end him before 10 rounds. You know, Tiafimo hits too hard. He's too fast. He's too, he's too smart. And looking at his recent interviews and his well-being, like his mental health, he is in tuned, enlightened, sharp. He learned from his mistake, stakes, his mistakes, him and his dad. You know, and about that, I think they learned their lesson because they went behind Bob Arum's back and tried to do things their own way. And in this business, it is all corrupt. All corruption aside, like I always say, without the corruption, Tiafimo will easily win this fight. Mark my words. And he will be champion again. I can tell by his interviews. I can tell by his energy. I can tell by the vibe that he's given off and his, the way he's speaking. He already knows he will be champion. Um, whether or not it's going through Josh Taylor or Regis Progre, I think he will destroy anybody who he faces. And he's going to grow into the 140-pound division very nicely, but this is going to be an easy test for him, um, unlike Pedraza, which would have been a harder test. So quit saying Pedraza wouldn't have been harder. Pedraza was the tougher fight, and people knew that. Everybody knew that. Uh, the promotion knew that. The promoters knew that. So that's why they made him pull out. You know, that's why he pulled out because of COVID reason, uh, symptoms, quote unquote, COVID symptoms, COVID, which is a big scam in itself. But that was the excuse. And that's the reason why the fight is not happening. And he is now fighting Sander Martin or Martin, however you want to say it, whatever. However you want to say his name, Tia Female will destroy this man. And he will finish him. And it will be spectacular, and he's going to do a backflip, and he's going to be entertaining, and that is that. So deal with it. Stop hating on Tiafimo Lopez. He is the best boxer at 135, 140. That's it. You know, under him would be um, Lomachenko. All these other, all these, all these other boxers that are coming up. You know, Haney and Shakur and blah blah blah. They're they're, they're sissified. You know, they're definitely sissified, and they don't like to. They haven't shown that warrior spirit. Now, Javante Davis is a different different type of fighter. You know, Javante Davis is a beast. 
You know, Ryan Garcia is a beast. Tiafimo Lopez is a beast. You know, guys like that. But anybody who just wants to jab your forehead for 12 rounds and score points when you can, you're a sissified boxer. And you're not a real warrior. And that's what I'm saying. And that's what I mean. And I say what I mean. And punch drunk, I still want to beat your ass. So whenever you want to put it on, let's go. Quit dropping weight. Uh, walk around about 175. Let's get it on. However you want to do it, bare knuckle, uh, boxing, uh, MMA, let's go. I'm Magno TV. You heard it here first. Peace. Tifa Lopez in 10.